everybody, and welcome back to IVEX Running. I am Coach Rachel, and today we have Jenna D'Alon's 18 minute TikTok treadmill workout. Say that 10 times fast TikTok treadmill workout. If you miss any speed or incline changes, don't worry, I want you to look all the way over onto this side of your screen. We'll have all that displayed for you over here to see. And then if you look onto this side of your screen, you're going to see this really nice long progression bar that's going to show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. So if you're ready to get sweaty, look down at that tread, find that start button. Let's get it going in three, in two, and one. Pick it up, pick it up right here, 4 0, -oh, right off the bat. So it's 18 minutes, it goes by quick. I like this workout. I was watching it um, right before we started recording. 18 minutes, like if I'm gonna get anything in an 18 minutes, and I'm like, I don't know if I can really just run for all 18 minutes, this is great. It's gonna warm you up, it's gonna shred some fat, get the body movement, you're gonna feel great after, all right? So we're here. This, for the next 10 minutes, this is it. There was no warm up, but you go right into it today. Four, zero. Four zero. We're not on the incline yet. So we have a 10 minute or 10 minute walk, quick walk, right? We're moving and we're grooving pretty fast. Then we have a two minute light jog, followed by a one minute sprint. We come back to our faster walk than this. We take it on an incline. Let me tell you, lately, since I've been rehabbing my back, I'm just trying to get myself acclimated to the movement again, right? So I'm not fatigued every time I start to run. I'm trying to strengthen all those muscles again. So I run for a period of time and I do exactly this at the end. I walk for an incline, killer. It's a killer, it's just a simple walking. So I think what happens is we think in order to like be better, we have to go harder sometimes. We have to go faster, right? We need to sprint. Not always the case, man. The walking fast that incline moves the body in a different way. You're using different muscles. So even though you're moving slower, you're moving differently. And different doesn't mean bad. That's the key right here. <sighs> Let's go. 10 minutes, guess what? You're already two, mu two minutes down. This is gonna go by so fast. We have eight minutes left here. So let's roll the shoulders down and back. I know we didn't really get any warm up here. So I just want you to check in with your body really quick. The spine is nice and tall, right? We're walking. We're not holding on to the treadmill. And I know what's gonna happen at the end when we walk a little bit faster and we walk on an incline, we are gonna try to hold on to the handlebars. So that's gonna be the key right here. So get used to not touching them right now, right? So get nice tall spine, roll the shoulders down and back, not holding on to the handlebars, walking from heel to toe, squeezing that core, pumping the arms, not super aggressively, but a light pump, right? Cause but walking is a full body exercise, not just let your legs, this, I just said in my last running class, the difference from running on the treadmill and running outside, I think when I run outside, I pull my arms harder. So my back is always sore. My, my middle part of my spine, ooh, I live for that feeling. I was like, I, walk, I ran hard today. You know how? I know my back is sore. Most people don't say that, but I feel it. All right, guess what? Three minutes down, seven to go. Let's give it up for Jenna D'Alon. Like, your body is banging, girl. I saw it. You're looking good. I'm gonna do this workout. I'm gonna look just like you. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Keep walking. Wow, that would be silly too sometimes, you know? Seven minutes. This is the killer right here. Now squeeze your butt cheeks. I think I did this in one of my very first walking ones. Keep your mind to the muscle, right? Like the more I think about it, the more I can feel my inner thighs walking. And as I push back, right? I can feel my glutes. And I live for that feeling also. I live for all the feelings. Hello. Let's just put that under my name. Rachel lives for all the feelings. I need a shirt. Rachel lives for all the feelings. Dang. You guys want one? <laughs> we live for all the feelings. The running feelings, the walking feelings, the burning sensation feelings. That makes you feel alive. We live for those moments. That way when we don't have them, we're like, oh my God. Enjoy the peace. Six minutes left. Yeah, so our light jog is only up to a four six. So it's really light. It's not gonna go even faster than that. If you want to, go for it. But it's only at four six. It's only for two minutes. And we got six minutes left here. Do you start feeling it in your core? Do you notice if you start like to tilt back? Cause sometimes I feel like I do that also. I don't know why I do that. 
maybe in order to give my legs more space, I try to pull back more, but tall, uh, tall spine, strong core, right? Come back to your body every now and then. Every, what, 10, 15 seconds you need to recuperate? Refocus the mind. Let's get it going. Yes, yes. All right, you're squeezing that butt. We got about five minutes left. Oh yeah, and then we're done with the longest part of this workout. Everything after that is a piece of cake. I mean, hopefully you get a couple miles into this. Maybe just, let's see what we're doing here. Probably get a mile and a half out of this. Great warm up. Or a great ending to a workout. Or if this is just the only workout you do, also great. Don't forget to smile, guys. Pump it out right here. Whew. Yep, yeah, that's it right there. Even when it all fails, just tune up the music and dance it out on the treadmill. I mean, I'm not really one of those people to bump it on it. When if nobody is around, I might drop it a few times, pick it back up, and then be like, oh, that was not me. Oh, you saw nothing. I'm kidding, I am definitely not that coordinated to dance on the treadmill. You would see me through the wall. Four minutes left. I'm like excited for the jog. Like this pace, like want, I can keep going, but I'm like ready for the jog. I'm like, my body's kind of just craving it at this moment. It's like, we gotta move? We need to move faster. Oh yeah. So, little, little spoiler. It said that she does this six times a week on a track into her other workouts. So, if you already have a workout regimen, maybe try this for a week and see if there's a difference in the workouts. Do it before, do it after, I don't know. Wherever you feel like it fits. But she says she does it six times a week. See you, girl. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it every day for this whole entire week. That's gonna be my warm up. Maybe my cool down. Maybe both. I don't know. We got three minutes. Keep it going, keep it going. Mm hmm. The good news is the incline don't come to the end. The bad news is we walk even faster than we're walking right now. No, so you're thinking this is fast. Oh, baby, we gonna walk faster. Like four, four? I don't even know my stubby little legs can walk that fast. I know I'm tall, but that's a lot. Four, four? I'm gonna do it anyways. Well, I always tell you guys, just do it. We're just gonna do it. We got this. I got you, you got me. Two and a half minutes. And then we walk. I mean, and then we jog. Light jog. We're building it up for that one minute sprint. And then when you think you're done, you're like, ha, now nah, you're not done. Now you're gonna walk on an incline. as like the kicker at the end. That's the bonus round. You think you get to cool down after, but nope. No cool down. All right, two minutes. We pick it up, four, six. Yeah, yeah. First 10 minutes down, we'll only have, once we finish this walking part, eight minutes left of the workout. So, only three of them were, were running. So, let's get our head in the game. You know why? So we have 90 seconds till we start. I mean, we did start technically, but till we start picking up the pace. So if you just start a walker, try it. Try it. You don't have to sprint at the seven, right? But just try to keep your body in motion. Try to keep it a little bit faster than the light jog. We're gonna take it. I'm sorry. Oh God. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I was gonna just short you a whole minute on this walk. I was like overzealous. I told you, I'm excited for this light jog. I'm just like ready to move my body today. One more minute, then we pick it up. Again, like I was going back. So if you are newer and you're like, God, 18 minutes seems like a perfect place for me to start my workout. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Try it six times a week. Maybe this is all that you do for those six days, but you're doing something. You don't have to necessarily do the paces that I'm telling you to do. Try, but like the sprint, if you are just beginner, just try to keep yourself in a jog, okay? Try to keep yourself moving. If you're not, come on, you know what to do. Serious face here. 
don't have to tell you guys. We on foot in the work. 30 seconds. All right, with the beat, with the bass. 20 seconds. You're like, she can't dance. I know. 15 seconds, come on. Pick it up, pick it up. We got 10. We go to four, six. Yo, this, this song right here though, right? Give me five. Give me four. Give me three, two, four, six. Let's go. It's only two minutes. How, how different does that feel? Honestly, I feel like it's nicer. I feel like I could jog at this pace longer than I could walk at the other pace. Like, like I said, just because you're moving slower doesn't mean you're not moving differently. And different doesn't mean easy. Just because it's slower doesn't mean that it's easier, right? It's work to keep that one foot on the ground. I get a little hop, right? I get a little breath in here. I feel like I breathe more. Guess what? We only have 90 seconds left. We go to a one minute sprint, right? And I'm queuing it faster because it's gonna come faster. 7-0, 10-0. It's one minute of your life here, okay? And we're gonna go hard. And then after that, we just finish with the walk. You have one minute until we run. Look at me. You can do this. Even if it's your first time, even if you are a beginner, you can run for a minute. You pick a pace that you can hold. It's 7-0 to 10-0 suggestion. You can do whatever you want. Just try to finish. Stay with me, we're a crew, right? We're a team. Start together, end together. Always. We're going 40. Big exhale. That beat though, like I said. This beat's good. It's good for the sprint. We go in 20. 7-0. 10-0. You ready? It's like even building up for the beat draft. 10. 8. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. Let's go. 7-0. 10-0. Pick it up, pick it up. One minute. This is it right here. Hardest part of the workout. One foot in front of the other. No stopping. 10 down. Come on. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. We're not quitting. Pump harder. Breathe deeper. 20 down. You walk after this. 4-4. Four, four. Three on the incline. But guess what? You have 30 seconds left. Let's go. Pick it up, pick it up. We're not stopping. We got 20. I feel it. 15. 10. 9. 8. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 4, 4. Four, four, three on the incline. No hands on the handlebars. This is it. I know it's a, this is fast. Woo. Woo. I'm used to walking like four one, maybe. Like that's a fast walk for me. Four four. That is like a shuffle. Guess what? We have only five minutes here. We're 30 seconds into it. Four and a half to go. We're done with the workout. Yeah, I know, heart rate is up. It'll drop a little bit, trust me. You got it. Keep squeezing, keep working. This is gonna build power, right? Good. Settle in, settle in and breathe. Guess what? We got four minutes left, you can hold. You can hold for four minutes. Keep working, keep working. Whew. Whew, maybe the steps, your strides are a little tighter, right? In order for you to hold that incline, in order for you to walk that pace. You know when I walk the front part of your shins? Oh man, when those bad boys start to activate, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's like a weird part where every time you put your toe, you eek, eek. 
three and a half minutes. You guys, I end the prize here. I know it's fast. I know you're sweaty, but you ain't gonna quit. You're gonna give me three more minutes of everything you got inside of you. Three minutes and 15 seconds. Keep pumping, keep pumping. All right, Jenna, you on to something. You on to something, this is nice. Keep it going, keep it going. Last three minutes here. I can feel myself start to hinge forward, do you know? I wanna pull myself up. Working from the legs, working from the core. Oh, baby. How's that incline feel? Feels good, it's not overly aggressive, right? And what did I say? This will be the time you're like, oh man, those handlebars. Oh, they looking delicious, I just wanna touch them. Nope, that's, that's not what we do here. Oh, that's cheating. Two and a half minutes. Come on, 30 seconds. Every 30 second drive, you should be like, oh, we're almost there, we're almost there. <sighs> those thighs, baby. Those thighs are working today. Whew. All right, guess what? Two minutes left. Hold tight. Whew. Hang tight, you got it. Squeeze the core. Look forward, pump harder. We're almost to the finish line, I know. I can feel it in my feet too. I can feel it in my ankles. This pace is quick, good for a reason, right? Challenging ourselves in a different way maybe. Maybe we are used to running. Maybe we're not used to walking. It is still hard. Get ready, 90 seconds left. If you could do anything for 90 seconds, this is it right here, right now. Don't look down. Don't stop. Don't quit. Coming up already. Coming up on that last 60 seconds. This is the quickest, funnest, like equally hard, equally fun 18 minute workout ever. Here we go. Last 60 seconds in four, three, two, this is not where we give up. I'll take an incline down. We'll have 30 seconds to close out. I want you to cool down a little bit. Okay? You keep going. 50 more seconds. We'll drop the incline down to zero. Give me a two or a three on that on the speed. 45, hold tight. Pump it harder. Come on. Come on. Last 30. Look alive, look alive. One, two, one, two. Come on, you can do it. You can see the finish line. It's right there. It's 20 seconds away. Just a little bit longer. Breathe a little bit deeper. Get ready to hit that incline down to zero. The speed down to two, to a three, and 10. In eight, in six, five, four, three, two. Let's go. All right, guys. That was amazing. 18 minutes nonstop. Jenna D. A. Lons. 18 minute tick tock treadmill challenge. Bam. Remember, I'm Coach Rachel. This is Ibex Running. I'll see you here next time.